Hi, I'm Mike from Okanagan Overlanding, and today we're going to review the Rhino Rack 270 degree Batwing awning. This is a great piece of equipment that you might want to add to your overlanding vehicle or just to have on your trailer or your Jeep or whatever rig you use. Uh, it can provide a lot of shade, even if you're just stopping for lunch. Um, obviously, it's not summer. I did install this back in the summer. We have used it for a few months. I just didn't get a chance to do a review on video. Uh, so now I'm going to do it. It's a, we snowed last night, and uh, but it's kind of gotten sunny. It's near the end of the day. Lighting seems to be good. So we'll give this a go, and uh, let's see how it is. Okay, so I've got my mounted on my driver's side of the Jeep, and the reason being is the tailgate on the back opens up towards the passenger side. And I wanted to have the Rhino Rack, the awning, be able to walk around and get into where my kitchen normally is. So putting it on this side, that, that kind of allows me to accomplish that. So what you've got here is a lot of frozen, probably, but you've got two Velcro that you need to undo. And then under here is a very, you know, you'll see it's a large zip. And just pull this along. Got some ice. work through that ice and there we go flip this up now I've had this on the Jeep through the entire fall and I've opened it up a few times and there has been a little bit of moisture but very very minimal I, it's coming in a little bit I think where the zippers are when you're doing some driving and that I've got three velcro straps to pop this, and then that releases your awning down. So we do have a bit of a breeze today. It is coming this direction. So it's one thing that you need to be careful when you're setting up a Rhino Rack Batwing awning is these pivot points here, they're plastic. They're meant to break away if there's a strong wind comes up and it pushes your awning up over top of your vehicle versus damaging your vehicle or damaging, twisting the actual mount, these will break. If you, ins if you deploy the awning without dropping the legs down and allow that downward pressure on these hinge points, you are taking a chance that they could break on you. I've got four extras. It came with one and I ordered some extras just in case. And uh, I just make sure I deploy the legs as I'm, in, you know, opening up the awning. This here is your uh, bag with your pegs and your ropes. So again, if you're in an area that you could get some wind, you want to, you know, strap it down with the lines, the guidelines in there and the pegs. So we'll just flip that out of the way because we're not going to be, this is concrete covered with ice, covered with snow. So it's not going to happen. So this strap here, when we get around the other side, you'll see it's going to hook on. I'll come back and show that. Basically, we're going to start, these are all magnetic ends and they're just stuck up here using those magnets. We're going to bring the first one out. When we get to here. I'm going to drop the pole. I'm not going to worry about how. Oh, we're hitting some ice. And a bit of wind. Oh, yeah, the wind changed direction. So, come around, drop the next pole.
straight. The wind came up. Okay. So on the poles, you have the ability to peg them down. Pegs go right through, right through here in both directions. Can't do that now. This is solid ice under there. Um, so that's good. These are easy to adjust. You'll see the poles just clip up into these when you're packing it up. This is where your magnets are, in, right in here, for when you're packing it up. So on this side is where you've got that strap coming off, and then I've got this actually mounted up onto my tent. So this is where we hook that on, and then you literally just cinch that up, and that's your setup. I'm not gonna do it, but you have ability to put your guidelines right here to tie down at your poles, and then you also have more here so you can tie it down here. It's starting to get windy here, so. So I'm under the awning right now. I haven't raised up the legs, but one of the great things about this uh, awning is with the legs, you can, if you're on uneven ground, you can have some legs longer than the others. As well, if you're gonna have rain, which we were lucky, we didn't have any rain this year. Um, on our camping trips, which we normally do. Um, but you can, basically you can have one, one end lower down. <laughs> so don't mind that one right there. It keeps wanting to slide because of the ice. So I put it out, but you'll see right now, I've got a pretty good slope there. So I would tend to, to slope down this one here. Um, so it's away from the Jeep. So any rain will run off there. Now, you're also going to see there's zippers all the way around the entire awning. And this is, you can pick up a wall kit so that you can actually create an indoor space around here. So with that space, you have, you could actually create quite a large room to, uh, you know, spend time if you're in some terrible weather. If you're winter camping, I think that's a must to put the walls in. And that's something that I haven't gotten yet. And part of the reason is supply chain issues. Okay, so I'm obviously not camping and I don't have my kitchen in back here, but just to kind of get an idea, with the glass of the Jeep up. It's just touching over on this side and that actually could be resolved by raising this pole. So now with that pole raised up, the glass actually, you know, it's not touching any of the poles and these ones here are still quite low. So it's great because now you've got I have my kitchen in here, got a great work area to cook in. If you've got the walls on, you've got you know, solid wall options. There's walls with windows and then there's walls with doors. So you can get whatever configuration you want. It's a pretty cool setup and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. What I like is there's so much space. Like there's a good, I don't know what the measurement is, but you know, from the side of the Jeep out to here, you're probably looking at you know, between six and seven feet. And what I notice, you know, compared to a lot of the awnings, there's a lot of space off the back. Like, so even though you got your kitchen there, you've, uh, you've got really good space here. Um, yeah, so that is the Rhino Rack Batwing awning from Rhino Rack Canada. So let's, uh, let's put it away and see how that goes. So the key to putting it away, no different than when you set it up. Unhook that uh, strap on the other side, and then as you're going around, you pop up each leg. If you've got the legs extra high, like the one on the corner there, you're gonna wanna adjust those first, but all of these legs at their current height will tuck up at that height. So I'm gonna go to the other side and start putting it away.
course, I didn't adjust the leg to start, like I said. So, just again, the legs just clip up. Come along. Grab the next one. Clips up. The farthest one away is actually the top. So, as you're going along, you can almost kind of stack them like this. That's the order that they're going to go up. And so the first one here is the bottom one. So that's that part. Now, there's no real you know, exact way. <laughs> It's a nice windy day for rolling up, but what I do is I kind of fold this like, like so, and then start rolling here. Roll it up, grab one of the straps. Uh, a lot of times the other end of the buckle ends up in behind, which is kind of a fact to life, but that's going to happen. That's all tucked in there. One more buckle here. Even harder to do when your hands are starting to freeze as the sun goes down. So now you just pull over your, your bag with your pegs and everything. Obviously there's more fabric here. It's something that I didn't like at first. So, cause the front of it ends up being bulky and then the back, it's not even, but you can't get away from it. Cause obviously the fabric is gonna roll. Thicker at the front. So these zippers are good. are frozen and there's ice on the zippers so I just did a little fighting with that zipper off camera and all is good now good thing with your zippers is to get uh, you know a couple times a year I did it on my other tent is uh, do some silicone spray in them just to keep them smooth and gliding so it's zipper maintenance. Probably should do it on this, but need to wait for a warm day. So then you got your two Velcros, which you strap back up. This folds around and you are put away. And that's it. So overall, my thoughts on the Rhino Rack Batwing awning, 270 degree. Um, I think it provides a ton of coverage. I was surprised uh, when we started using it how much coverage it gave. Um, it's fairly light, it's 21 kilograms. Um, so some of the other bigger awnings that don't need the legs, they're great, but they're up in that you know 30 kilogram plus range. Uh, so you gotta factor that in with your roof load. Uh, everything, zippers and everything are high quality zippers. Uh, it takes a bit more time when they're frozen, but you know, this is staying on here all winter. Um, it's not coming off and we will use it at some point in the snow. Uh, the actual fabric is really, really solid uh, ripstop fabric. I like that you can put the side walls on. Not that that's unique, um, but I do like that it's zippered versus Velcro much easier to pull the zippers along than attaching Velcro and trying to get it all square and everything. So I like that it's got zippers um, for the sidewalls. The poles are great. 
um, easy to pull down, easy to adjust the height. I like that they have the pegs that go in crosswise because that really anchors it down. And then you can add lots of guidelines. It's really nice having all the pegs and everything and the guidelines up in that packet up there. So it's not something you have to store somewhere else in your vehicle and you don't lose it as well. Uh, yeah, and uh, you saw I set it up by myself. I took it down by myself. So from that perspective, it's pretty easy. The only thing that I would say, uh, really the only negative would be, it's not, some, it's not an awning that you would use in really strong winds. I guess I'll test it um, at some point where I can peg everything down and see how it goes. I've got the extra pieces to replace there. So that's something that I'll do on a windy day, get it set up. Uh, it would be nice I think if they did something different with the pivot points on it to strengthen that so that you can literally just pull it out, secure it, and then come back and then drop the legs. I'm afraid to do that because I don't want those pivot points to break. That's the only negative. It's probably a pretty big one. Um, but, you know, Rider Rack specifically says that you should be deploying the legs as you go and uh, deploy the awning. So that's what you need to do. There's a reason for them having those as a break point, which is to not destroy, you know, those are cheap to replace. Um, keep some with you. I've got them in my glove box. And, you know, just so follow the instructions. I know there's been people that have complained about it, um, but, you know, I've watched enough videos to see uh, what the issues have been, and I just make sure that when I deploy it, I'm not allowing too much pressure, downward pressure on it while I'm deploying it. So that would be the only negative. Other than that, it's top notch quality. Um, you know, I've, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I've got this is my second Rhino Rack platform. I, I like Rhino Rack products, um, the shovel mount and, and all that, uh, store it, it's called. I like all that product. So, um, if I were doing it again, yeah, I'd get this. I'd get this awning again. So, anyways, that's the Batwing 270 degree awning for Rhino Rack. Specifically, I'm going to say Rhino Rack Canada because that's where I am in Canada. If you are looking for one, contact your local Rhino Rack dealer. Um, you can find them on the internet. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please press the like. If you aren't subscribing and watching this, I'd love it if you subscribed. And uh, yeah, it's winter time, but try and get out and explore, discover, and enjoy. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.